Hey everybody, Bo here with an update on our 6x14 cargo trailer conversion. We call it Rolling Thunder, cabin on wheels, gourmet kitchen in the front, cantina in the rear. So in this video I wanted to talk about flip up tables. Tables that flip up, tables that flip down, different ways to do them. And I want to share how I did this one. When I did the V-nos for the kitchen and the countertop, you have to cut the angles so you end up with some corners that are like this. And uh, you just take those triangles and mount it onto a board and just flip it out. And uh, it's about that long so it hides right behind it's on two hinges just flips right out very sturdy this is a piece of oak so uh, you know it's real sturdy can't make it too wide because then it will be not as sturdy but you want your uh, hinges as far out as you can and like I said that just flips out hides behind it I'm gonna show you underneath in a minute but one thing I want to talk about is if you do a main counter a flip up table I really recommend having a little bit of a uh, like a shelf a unit that you can store stuff behind it because for the amount of space that you give up you get a lot of stuff in return and what's really nice is with the table if you are eating or something and you have salt and peppers and different things you can move everything right here put the table down and you can do it really quickly Otherwise, you got to make sure you clear the whole thing, and that's a big advantage because then you can, you know, move things back and forth. Like camera gear works really good for me, uh, and then underneath I have different shelves, and we keep different things there. And it's uh, this locks with just a hook and uh, loop, and uh, just like you would do on a fence or something, and it's it works out perfect. So on the end, I made it so that there's shelves this way. And we put shoes and stuff in there. And then my electrical, uh, the fuse box is right behind here. Everything comes to here. And my AC comes in on a different side. Uh, I've not put an inverter and connected the two, but so far the solar is fantastic. But this is a really great setup. We have a lot of space in here. And uh, to put it down, you just like that, and boom. So, but I do want to do two other ones. Uh, I'm gonna put one next to the counter in the kitchen and then I want to put one on the door because they are gold you just flip them up you get instant counter space flip them down and uh, they're out of the way and then you have a lot of space to work with but these uh, units I really recommend doing something like that for me it was all about weight keeping the weight down this is all pine and uh, this is pallet wood it's all really really light stuff and uh, this is a great investment uh, if you do get it one of these little heaters with a fireplace uh, make sure that you get an LED bulb in it because the, the weather won't bother the LED bulbs at all and they'll last a lot longer the other ones they're always burning out so that's the first thing I did was replace that one with an LED and it works great and so there you have it so we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, these flip ups I'm going to show you underneath so you can see the uh, setup and the storage and then I'm going to show you the uh, flip up in the cantina how I did that that one I did a little bit different so here's the side cabinets and this is great because it's right by the door this was made with uh, nine and a half inch uh, pine which is really light and then I just used this paneling the top part is uh, separate so this bottom one is just a bottom unit and then you can see how the corner triangle works perfect you just recess it back just a little bit and then it flips behind and when it's out it's very sturdy because of the uh, weight distribution and there's a ton of storage on the floor, a ton of storage behind it. We uh, like to put our bar back there and then it locks. And then we have different storage on that side. 
and then I even have like a little hook that locks and then it locks down below so really simple design for a main table it is perfect now there's you know times where you want one to just flip up right from the wall in different places that works out really well so in case you're wondering the fireplace is an electric heater it runs off of the 110 side of the power everything else is solar on 12 volt and uh, we can go off grid really easy we just can't use the electric heater we can't use the electric refrigerator but the refrigerator we use a large block of ice in the freezer so when we have shore power we keep it plugged in and keeps the block cold frozen and then when you're in transport the block keeps it cold we can get three days off of that uh, really nice easy solution these uh, flip-up tables I did some research and I found some metal brackets for about 20 bucks. They hold 300 pounds, which would be a pretty sturdy table. Another easy solution. If you're on a budget, you can make them probably for five bucks with some scraps of wood. There were also some free fab tables that were really nice from about 55 to 65. And uh, they were good to go and there were some different types in there. I'm going to have the links to all those in the description because it's fun shopping on Amazon and building these things out and getting different ideas. Uh, that's what it's all about is getting those ideas and finding different solutions for what you're trying to accomplish uh, in your build. So some ideas for you. And then also one more thing that I found was a shower, uh, tankless hot water heater shower. You could hook a hose up to it or you'd have to uh, do a pump and a container but you just get a five gallon uh, propane tank click a button and you have uh, instant hot water put one of those on the back side of the my plan eventually is put one on the back side of the trailer have one of those little huts and you have an outside shower so uh, it still keeps the weight down especially if you get city water you could hook right up to that and you'd have uh, unlimited hot water that would be an easy solution so I'm also going to put those in the links down below. So take a look at those. And uh, if you have an interest, check it out. Because uh, they're all just, we're all, it's all about getting ideas and trying to accomplish what you're trying to do. For me, my accomplishment with this is keeping the weight down. This comes in around 2300. I haven't put it on the scale yet, but that's what my guess is. Because everything in here is fairly light. So... So there you have it, links down below, take a look, check it out, and uh, thank you. So in the kitchen, I'm thinking about adding another flip-up table right over here and uh, I, I will probably use one of those uh, right triangles underneath it that seems to be the easiest way but I'm gonna think about maybe something that flips down that braces with uh, some holders on the wall if you have any ideas on how simple ways to do some flip tops please leave some comments down below but uh, this kitchen is a joy to cook in and the one thing I got to say, one thing great about doing stuff yourself is you can do the basics and then after you're in, in it for a little bit, then you can start tweaking it, adding things. Like uh, for me, I want to put a microwave here, a very small 700 watt uh, microwave. I have it wired so it plugs in right there, right through there. Pretty easy to do. The flip up table, that'll make a great... A computer wakes a workstation as well as a, a great prep area a place to put food so I think that's gonna work out well but this kitchen very simple design some people put a, a bathroom over in this way and then they put a half kitchen that can work really well there's just so many different things you can do for us we have a porta potty that pulls out right from underneath the bed and that's sets our uh, needs as far as a shower uh, I'm gonna be tossing around some different uh, outside showers I have one of those portable pop-up 
tents it's like an outhouse so if you want to put the porta potty outside you just put one of those on top of it and you have a instant outhouse and then as far as a shower you can use those for showers as well i want to start off with a solar bag you just fill it up with water put it in the sun and then uh, if you really need to take a shower you can a lot of the places we go have showers so i always take advantage of that if i need one uh, but this was all about weight and keeping it as light as possible and uh, weight seems to be the enemy and the other thing was keeping it balanced making sure that uh, the weight underneath the bed with the spare tire and everything else offsets the weight in the front with the refrigerator and uh, the stove's pretty light but uh, great storage a lot of storage uh, big refrigerator and then I think a flip-up table that's gonna that'll be fantastic because like i said i can put a computer over there because the thing is with big tables once you put them down you gotta scramble your uh things so it's nice to have little spots that you can put cameras computers uh whatever it may be uh you know whatever you are into so there you have it so another flip up table here and then i'm going to do another one in the back and i'm going to show you where i'm going to do that and we're talking flip up tables you got any ideas leave them in the comments below thanks all right welcome to the cantina so on the back here what i did was a simple flip up with uh this is an old tent pole and i cut it to the right length so that it is uh, level and then this is hardware from a, a door lock bent it into a v and uh really simple really sturdy and what i like about this design is anything that's on here if we need to if a storm comes in which i run into a lot being a storm chaser and i track storms if we're in the high country wind comes in like you can't believe sometimes sometimes you gotta shut it up really quick so you take everything and you can put it up here as a backup and uh, close it up and you still have everything inside the cooler here is designed so that when you flip it around you can access it from the inside by the bed and that works out really well and then so over here i'm going to do another flip up table i may do two triangles that come out like that i may do something that flips down embraces i haven't decided if you have any ideas on uh, flip ups you can do them with chains that come down i'm not a fan of the chains but i think i'm going to make this out of pallet wood and make it really rustic and it'll be a place for the grill to put plates and stuff like that be a great cook area and uh and then you have the bar the cantina so i really like this uh, setup it's been working out really really well and again if you have any ideas on flip up tables just leave them in the comments below if you like this video give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and uh i do want to thank you for watching Till next time see ya